بسم اللہ الحمد للہ والصلاۃ والسلام علیہ رسول اللہ رب شاہ علی صدری و یسر علی عمری و حرم السانی یفق القولی السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ٹوڈے ویل ٹاک اباؤٹ امیجز اینڈ ان امیجز ویل سی ہاؤ مینی ٹائپس آف امیجز فائل وی ہیو ویل ٹرائی ٹو انسرٹ امیج ان ٹو آر ویب پیج ویل آلسو انسرٹ امیج ایز اے بیک گراؤنڈ Uh, we will talk about figure tags and we'll also see how we can give figure caption as well. Um, we have four types of files. One is JPG. Uh, there was a group, Joint Photographic Expert Group, they created. And this extension is the acronym of that group. PNG stand for Portable Network Graphic. This is another type, small size and good for the web designing. Then we have GIF, that is Graphic Interchange Format. And then we have SVG, that is Scalable Vector Graphics. Uh, you can also call them Line Art as well. Now, um, the Scalable Vector Graphic is like this kind of image. If you expand, the quality of the image is remains same. So, but this is not the case with your, with your a bitmap image. If you increase the size, expand it, it get blur. Okay, and you can see small dots as well. So those are the pixel which created the picture. Uh, so the resolution of a bitmap image is measured in dot per inch. So how many dots you have in, in an inch, that is what will be the picture. Um, in monitor, uh, you have like 76 dots per inch. And but printer, some of the printer, they are very high quality printers. So they might be having 2400 pixels per inch. Uh, and, and similarly, uh, maybe more than that. Now the size of bitmap image is measured in pixels. And pixel, you know that it is a dot that makes the image. Now we have like uh, image tag. Now the image tag has two most important attributes. One of them is source and the other one is alt. Alt means alternate text. In case the image is not available, then this text will be displayed instead of the image. So let's try and see how we can add this image. Now in my header, for example, I have an image. So I can say image and then I will give the source property is equal to images slash uh, file name is lakeland dot gif and then I will say my alternative property alt property is equal to uh, lakeland read bad and breakfast and I can just say quotation close and the image is closed now. So this is how I can give my image uh, tag. Now, if you see, I do have the Lakeland read the same heading which I, I was showing before, but now when I will refresh, it will, it will be disappeared and only the image will be displayed. And you see that here, but in case, in case I was typing and I, incorrectly type the file name or the file name is not available what will happen i refresh the page and you see that it is trying to display the image but um, i can see the text now only so this is the same alternative text which we have written here and is displaying on the on the web page now let me correct the file name and then i refresh it will be like available here so now, um, so first of all, what we'll do is we'll try to, uh, we already insert the image and now we would like to see how we can reset the style. Okay, so let's reset the style with the help of, let me go up and they, then I say, okay, this image is available. So this is what I will reset all my borders and padding and for this one, uh, let me remove this part. So the image is available now. So this is how we can reset. Now, we will set the maximum um, width property uh, for the image. So I can say that image and uh, maximum 
width of this image is for example 600 um, or maybe so okay 600 now if i refresh the page you may not see any change you see that because this is almost the 600 pixels but if i say if i say 100 pixel is the maximum width of this one so see what happens to this image um, so sorry this is i have to say pixels if i say pixels then you see here it comes so small so this is the maximum width of my image now if i say 600 or 700 let for example i say refresh so it becomes this size so this is how i specify the maximum width of my of my image on my web page now so let me try again 100 for example it will be small okay it will be small in size now let's go and see what we have next okay if the content any image is larger than the maximum width then it will automatically change the height of the element read it again if the content is larger than the maximum width and if this content actually not is larger than the maximum width i specify like 100 if it is larger than we know that it is almost equal to 700 so what will happen it will automatically change the height of the elements so let's try 700 if i say 700 now you will see it will not only increase but the height of the image will be increased as well you see so it is increased to 700 but it is also height is also adjusted so this is what we're talking about here um now now if the content is smaller than the maximum width for example i say it is 1200 and for sure this image is around 700 is not like 1200 so if the content if this content is smaller than is smaller than 1200 then this property will have no effect now with 1200 it will have no effect reason because the image is smaller than even if i say 900 it will have no effect reason because this image is already smaller than the 900 if it is like i say 700 no effect you see okay if i say 400 then for sure since the image is bigger than the maximum width so it will make an impact of that one you see that so okay let's try let's try the height if i say image height is auto see what happens so by default it since we have the maximum width it automatically adjusts the height to automatic so that is why we don't have um, if we don't use it it's okay and if we use it it will have no impact because it's already done by the system automatically now let's set the background of the picture so for example I have an article um, so in the article what I want to do is that I have a background background image so I'll say URL and then I'll specify bracket in the bracket quotation at the end I have to say semicolon and then I have to close as well so in this one I will be talking about I'll, I'll say about the path of the image and that is lake.jpg okay now if i just go for um so for the article now if i if i just
just go up there and refresh you see the 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 color is there but if i refresh this page it is changed the background is changed with the image you see that now just in case what i'm going to do is i will say okay another command i want to give i say background uh, i want to set the color as well so i will say if the background is pound sign 7 e C C E C. This is a color like a light blue or mixed kind of thing. Now what it will do is it will it will set the background and then it will change the background to this color. Let's try that. You see that? But no, I want to background. So what I'm going to do is I will say okay, the background should comes after that. If I refresh the page now. It will go, it will set the background to this color, then it will go and it will set the picture. Now, why we are having this background color? For example, for example, just in case if the file is not available, this file for sure, this lake one is not available. So in case somehow the file is deleted or the file name is not correct, then I refresh. So at least I will have this background color if this image is not available. So this background color is for a backup purposes. Okay, uh, so I can change back so it will come back to the lake. Now let's uh, add the image, and this time what we will do is we'll try to add the image as an as a figure in the figure tag. So I can go to the rooms. So in this room, what I'm going to do is I'll say, OK, I have a figure tag and then I'm going to close the figure tag as well. So in this figure tag, I say I have an image. Image source is available, which is equal to images slash read dot JPG. OK, and now I can say, OK, we have an alternative text. Is equal to you know what I can do I can just copy and paste the alternate text so I can say alternate text is in the quotation and inside the quotation it is like this so I'm having like a big chunk of so maybe what I can do is maybe I can delete it because it's in the same line okay and this one also now so this is my alt and, and that's it so I can close my image I can close my image here and let me see this so let me refresh here and this is the room so I can go and I can see that the image is there you see that if this figure is not there let me show you this picture again without it refresh so this picture is like this read room and sun room. So I want the under the heading, I want the image and then under the image, I want this text. So what I'll do is under the heading, I'll, I'll, I'll go for the copy paste of this image. Okay. So let me refresh the page. So I have this image. Now, similarly, I want to copy and I want to paste in here as well. So under the sun room and the image, I will change to the sun and similarly for the tree room i'll copy paste the same and then i can say this is my tree this is my tree house okay now if i refresh you will see the image under the sun room and the tree room as well there you go so that is how we can add the pictures and the uh, with the figure now we are having uh, with the figure let's see what we have on the next slide okay in the next slide what we're going to do is we'll try to add okay so first of all reset the figure properties if there's any border or padding or background please make it zero so let me refresh the screen and see if there's an impact ah there's small there was a border and margin so we just reset the margin to that one Okay, now uh, what I'll do is I'll try to say, 
Okay, I do have a figure, and in the figure, the maximum width. Okay, the figure maximum width is eight hundred pixel. How is that? Uh, it should have no impact because because this picture is smaller than eight hundred pixel. By the way, so but just to give you an idea okay now i want to write another command for the figure um, before we try type anything else let me try this one you see that no impact but if i say 100 pixel see what happens the figure maximum width is 100 pixel um, okay so it didn't make any difference because we are talking about the figures not the image so that there's a small difference here now i can say that margin for this figure margin for this figure margin for this figure is like 2 em margin let's refresh the page and see Oh, there you go. You see the margin from the left and the top and the right from every side. We have this one. And now I can say uh, float is right. So I can say, okay, float. Float is right. Now, if you refresh this page, you will see that float is right. So it goes on the right side. And the text comes on the left side you see that but there is a problem what is the problem if you see that this image is overflowing on the this is by the way my div and this is my article so is is going above the article and is above above the div as well so how about how about we can try another command that is for or for overflow so what I can, I'm going to say is, I say, okay, article uh, overflow is auto, okay, save it. Now if I just go up there, overflow auto for the article, refresh, ah, you see that? Now for this article, the overflow is correct, but still my problem is not solved. My problem is up to this part. And let's go and see. Okay, I was here, the pictures are here, and I'm in the article. But if you see under the article, I'm having a div. So this this area is a div, and the article is everything. So what should we do? I think if I say article has a div, and this div please overflow for this div, not for the article, but for the div overflow is auto now what will happen so it, it will extend the div and it will bring this thing inside you see that so that is how we change the overflow um, for the div okay now we do have a, a caption for the so let's try figure and caption on my on my index file so on the index file, this is my header, and this is my article. In the article, I have a div, okay? Now in this, under this div, what I'm gonna say is, I'll say, okay, I need, I have a figure, figure, and then I have to say, let me close the figure as well. And in this figure, I say, okay, image, is uh, source by the way source is equal to images slash uh, you can say sun jpg and close this one and then i have to set up the alt property alt property is equal to uh, i'm gonna say um, okay, sun room with hardwood floor And I close my 
and I close my image. Now let's see and go back to the go back to the sun room index home. Now if you see I got I got the image here. Uh, image is not available so what is happening I got the text alternate text. So let me see where the things went wrong. Images uh, source is equal to images slash sun dot jpg uh, let's see what is available here images slash sun dot jpg so it is there i m a g e s source is equal to image source is equal to um, sun dot jpg so maybe there is something wrong in my Again, okay, so maybe th there was something wrong. So sun.jpg is available here. Now I need the caption. Caption will be underneath. So what I'm going to say is within the figure, okay, within the figure, I say this is I have a fig caption. Okay, so I have a fig caption, and with this fig caption, I'm going to say what I'm going to say. Okay, I have a sun room. And the fig caption is closed. Fig caption is closed. Now let's see and run it. So I got the sun room, but you know I want this sun room to be to be a link. So when I click on this link, it should jump and go to the room. So let's create a hyperlink for this one. Um, so I can say there is an anchor. An anchor has a href which is equal to which is equal to room in the quotation room dot rooms dot html quotation close or maybe you can say that you can directly jump to the sun um, room so you can say pound sign sum and that's it and I can close my anchor after the text in this way this sun room will become the hyperlink so refresh this page and now you see that i got a hyperlink here okay so let's go and see what is on the next page okay now in this part in the css file what i'm going to say is i want to give this one this uh, um, picture from the top I need 2 em for example um, it is available already 2 em so we'll, we'll give it more so article has so if you see here article has a figure okay article has a figure and then figure has a class so I can give it a class is equal to for example ex so figure has a class that is dot ex and now in this one I'm going to say margin margin top margin minus top is like 5 em for example. So I can refresh the page and you see that margin is 5 em from the top. Okay, Make it like 2 em please so refresh the page and it is like 2 em page and we do have a link here as well okay so okay the figure caption must be in the center so what i'm going to say is where is article so we have the article by the way even if you don't write the article it will still work but it's okay if you want to write like this so it will only apply to this article and the figure so fig caption and that is i'm going to say align text align is center now refresh the page and the text align is now you see here it is center um that's it for today kafara majlis
اللہ بب حمد ہی سبحان اللہ بب حمدی کا نشد اللہ 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 تعالیٰ نستخر و نتوب علیہ السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ